Howdy folks, Effing Controller here, and uh, we're continuing on with our adventures in Pacific Theater of Operations 2. And in case you missed it last episode, there's been what we will call a, a coup de derp. Um, I am now uh, in command. Uh, this is not, strictly speaking, a participatory Let's Play anymore. You guys are uh, still welcome, of course, to watch. In fact, you are encouraged to watch, but uh, I'm going to be taking command, and the reason for that is that I think if I were to let you guys take command, uh, no disrespect, but I think you would probably prolong things really unnecessarily at this point, because the U.S. is beaten. They cannot do anything. Uh, in case you missed it last time, um, we took Hawaii, and the U.S. can now no longer um, create new fleets, and given the fact that they have no fleets available right now, uh, that we know of anyways They can't really fight us off. So um, I'm just gonna try to end this as uh, Quickly and as entertainingly as possible now. We have three options before us So let's go over those really quickly. I mentioned them towards the end of the last episode, but let's review them We can either reduce the US GNP to zero uh, We oh, I missed we can occupy Washington uh, We can reduce the US GNP to zero or achieve a total base yield of over 1800 Reducing the U.S. Uh, GNP to zero really has more to do with them making shitty political decisions than us making intelligent military decisions. Not to say that we will make any intelligent military decisions, but um, it's not one that is a reliable way to beat the AI. And, you know, it seems like um, despite the difficulties that the AI has been uh, facing in the form of me, um, well, us, let's be honest, this has been a, this has been a community effort. Um, it still has maintained a decent GNP. It's not like, well, their GNP is 19. They're in the shit right now. But they have had the good sense to not bankrupt themselves, is what I'm trying to say. Um, achieving a base yield of over 1,800 is doable, but it will take a really long time. Uh, a lot of the bases that are available to us to conquer are in the U.S., and they would get us to that point, but that would take a while, and what I have in mind is probably, hopefully, going to be quicker, and that is to attack Panama right over here, and then head up to Nolens, and then uh, have my Marines just march along the coast to Washington. That is the plan as it stands now. Um, I, I really don't know if there's a better way to do this. Um, like I say, the other two options really are open-ended. They are very, very... Um, they would entail a lot of time, at least on my part. I would cut a lot of this out. In fact, I'm um, planning on cutting out a lot of what I'm doing um, just invading Washington, but if I were to do those other things, it would take months and months, I think. Uh, especially the reducing the US GNP to zero, because that's ridiculous. Um, so, that's the plan as it stands now. Um, what I've done so far to enact that, I guess, uh, I haven't done really too much with my fleets. I actually, come to think of it, I've deployed two new fleets. One is the 10th, which comprises just a carrier and a destroyer. And that is going to join up, I think, with the 7th fleet? Yes, 7th fleet. They're going to meet up somewhere and merge. It's going to be very intimate. And then the 15th fleet has been created with the remaining two destroyers, and it's going to join up with the sixth. I think that's right. That is right. I'm so smart. So those fleets are going to be uh, augmented somewhat and made a little bit more uh, operationally useful. I have not done much with our subs. I'm going to be redeploying these subs over here, this mess over here, up to here, possibly, or over to here. Uh, actually, this would be smarter, wouldn't it? So that I can then shoot them into the uh, Atlantic and then uh, remove any transports they might have left. That is probably what I will do. Uh, and then I have Marines and this looks a little different. Uh, you may not have noticed. Uh, I didn't really... Uh, I haven't really been moving them too much throughout uh, most of the Let's Play. But um, we're shifting everybody this way. I'm going to take all of my Marines regardless of whether they were in China or wherever. They're going to go over here and we're just going to just try to dogpile on them. That's the idea, anyways. Um, with that said, China is in the war now, and they will probably fight the army a little bit. And I don't know how that's going to go. Um, I guess it's not really my problem, because even if they do take some of these bases, it doesn't matter, because I'll just go and take Washington. So, who cares? Who, really, who cares what happens in China? <laughs> Sorry. 
I know we declared war on them and everything, and we had this big uh, plan in place to make the army die and everything, but you know what, we're, ha we're gonna have to leave that behind us. We're gonna go this way towards victory and success, and it's gonna be great. And I'm sure that the next update that you see from me will be some amazing victory from us. Right? Right. Good God. Is that a battle phase that we're getting? They're bombing Wuhan, which is an army base, which I don't care about. God. <laughs> okay. They're sending 20 bombers at our base in Wuhan. Woohoo! I don't care! Well, they're pretty effective. Fortunately, those are army troops. Don't care. Hey, you know, we have a ton of planes here, actually. Why don't you bomb them? How's that? Yeah? You wanna, you wanna try that? You wanna try that, army? They haven't done shit, by the way. It's now, what is it, May 8th. They have not attacked a single thing in China. Nothing has happened in China. That is the first thing that has happened China-wise. Um, really, really amazing work by the army so far. Um, I'll just briefly kind of go over what's been happening with the Navy. Uh, you can see the 10th and the 15th are gradually kind of creeping over here to Palmyra. Uh, the 3rd and the 4th fleet have just left Palmyra to go bomb the crap out of Panama, hopefully. And I also have my fleets that were at Midway heading towards Hawaii. Uh, at this point, all of my fleets, with the exception of the 3rd and the 4th, and I guess the 10th and the 15th, have one division of marines aboard. The reason it's just one rather than two is that um, apparently in this game you can run out of fuel and if you try to go from uh, Hawaii to Panama with two divisions of marines as opposed to just one you will run out of fuel. Uh, I learned that by basically loading uh, a fleet with two units of marines and I gave them the generic order to go to Panama and land troops, and it said, We don't have enough fuel! We can't do it! So we're not going to do that. So, um, one division apiece, and uh, hopefully that'll be enough. I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, but as this group, I think this is the 1st, 2nd, and 5th fleet. Wait, no, it's the 1st, no, 2nd, 5th, and 12th. Wait, no, that's not right either. Well, it's this bunch of crap here. Once they get closer to Hawaii, everybody's going to head out. Actually, these guys are going to refuel here in Hawaii, and everybody's going to head over to Panama, and it's going to be a great old time. Um, so that's about where things stand. I've been pretty successful in getting our Marines to go eastward. Um, uh, I guess Hawaii, I was going to say Panama, that's jumping the gun a little bit. Hawaii is full. Hawaii can only take, well, any base can only have four divisions of troops. Um, but I've loaded up marines onto my fleets, so we have really about, I don't know, like, eight divisions of marines in this area right now? It's kind of ridiculous. So, um, we'll be getting things underway pretty soon, uh, landing troops at Panama. Hopefully. We're getting more bombing. Oh, what do you know? Same place, except now the army smartened up and is actually sending up some fighters to intercept them, and I, oh my, yep. I was going to say, I bet that they have a lot. And maybe the enemy had the weather on their side before and the army wasn't able to actually launch fighters. But uh, they did this time. So, good job, idiots. Way to go. Nothing much has changed. This is just the day after I last updated you guys. So, things are continuing apace. The enemy just took a base somewhere. And I think... I think I saw it in Southeast Asia somewhere? Let me take a look here. Like, what? Wait. Did they take Hainan Island? Yeah, they did, because... Wait, let's go up here. So that's Chinese, and then since this was taken after the war started, this is a U.S. base. Because the U.S. is leading the war, I guess. So they just took Hainan Island. They took our delicious Hainanese chicken rice from us. Oh my. What a crippling blow. Um, I don't really know what we'll do. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. 
What is this? What's happening? Oh my god. <laughs> America is trying to sue for peace. But, uh, I'll be the judge of that. In fact, I move to dismiss the motion of the defense to end the war. If I had a gavel, I would bang it into my desk and it would split in half right now. How about that? Because we got a whole lot of pain heading their way. Uh, Third and Fourth Fleet are about halfway, well, a little bit under halfway to uh, Panama. And our other fleets will be departing shortly. Oh. I don't know if you read that, but it says that America and Germany have concluded a peace treaty. Um... You know, under, under normal circumstances, that would be annoying. Right now, it doesn't matter, because we're still going to beat the Americans. But, and even under most other circumstances, it's not that big of a deal. What it means is that Germany can no longer participate in the Pacific War, so they can't send any of their fleets to us. The only time, though, that Germany ever sends fleets your way is if a very specific set of circumstances are met and... Um, we're not going to meet those circumstances anyways, I don't think. I don't think we would have the time to. The Americans have to fail to send enough troops to Europe for several turns, or several months, rather. And also, I think, um, they have to spend too little on foreign affairs. Something like that. And then, um, Hitler will send, um, I think he'll send the Bismarck. Because it's, it's presuming that there's some kind of crazy alternate timeline that's happening. I guess. Uh, I think he'll send the Scharnhorst and probably the Prince Eugen? I'm not entirely sure about all that, but you'll get German ships that I think appear in the Indian Ocean. It's kind of fun and zany, but it's not important. We're gonna win the game. Gonna keep my head in the game here. Gonna finish things off, hopefully. Uh, not get bothered by that. Doesn't really mean much. Um, so things are progressing. Heading towards Panama still. Everything's coming up, effing controller. A man, a plan, a canal. Panama. Also, go hang a salami. I'm a lasagna hog. It is time to attack Panama. I have... I think I have... No, I don't have my entire fleet here, because the 10th fleet is... Uh, yeah, it's straggling behind. That's the one with the... the Junio, I think it is, that's... Uh, Taking its sweet ass time getting to the party, uh, but I figure I might as well get this party started. Everybody's got their orders. I'm gonna launch an air raid, and it's gonna be a great time for everyone. Won't it? Let's see how many Marines they have there. <laughs> it could be ugly. Alright, so they did not launch planes against us, so they must not have detected us somehow. I don't know how that happened, but I'll take it. Oh, they do have planes in the air, though did have escorts up just in case and we just knocked the poop out of them there all right <laughs> you are dumb um hmm Here's what I'm going to do. We give each individual unit orders. Even though it takes forever. I'm going to have them attack the airfield and just take out whatever planes they might have. And then, uh, next turn, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, land my marines. See, that's how you do it right there. Take the planes out on the ground. So, you know, since this does take... Kind of, you can see we're getting a lot of black screen here. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and uh, launch these attacks until the airfield is not obliterated. I don't need to take out the entire airfield. I just need to take out all the planes. So once I stop getting casualty reports for planes, I'll cease the bombing and uh, just land troops at Panama next turn. So I guess the idea here is that if we... <laughs> If we don't take Panama itself, we'll just gouge out a new canal somewhere with all these ships. We'll just sail right into it and, uh, you know, break through that way. That is a lot of goddamn ships is what I'm trying to say. What I'm also going to say is that I am going to land 
This might be a little bit cocky, but I'll go ahead and have these this fleet of six destroyers land its uh, troops here. And you know what? Just for added insurance, in case they did send another division of marines or something like that, because they could send them from New Orleans. Go ahead and just do that. Have the fifth fleet shell the base. They shouldn't have any planes left, but they could add them, technically, um, to the airfield here. I did not destroy the airfield, which was actually unnecessary. I could have destroyed it because I'm not going to be using this. I should have destroyed it. Oh well, lesson learned. See if I pay the price. Alright, here we go. Nope. <laughs> I pay nothing! No money down! No interest. <laughs> Alright. So, that is going to be that for Panama. That was pretty underwhelming. I was expecting them to have packed it with uh, Marines like they did uh, at Midway and uh, Palmyra. But I guess not. So, uh, the way that Panama works is that it is a canal. And, <laughs> in case you were curious, Oh, come on. I'm a kind, benevolent ruler. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to bring an end to the violence, you guys. I'm just trying to bring this whole horrible business to a conclusion. You need to respect that. You need to look and listen to your heart and realize... I, I'm so full of shit right now. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at Panama. Uh, the way that it works... And this is something that the AI doesn't necessarily understand. Um, I'm pretty sure it didn't understand uh, at the beginning of the game because well let, let me explain what Panama does uh, you can let you can put your uh, fleets at Panama and by having them uh, dock at Panama they can then go over here into the Atlantic so they it's it's basically a canal uh, the problem is is that the AI doesn't fully appreciate how that works so um, let me take a look at the map here at the beginning of the scenario, the U.S. starts with, I think, at least two fleets that are in the Atlantic area here. Uh, one in New Orleans and I think one at New York up here. And I don't know if it understands that it can send them this way to Panama and then have it dock and then go out into the Pacific from there. So we might actually run into an enemy fleet here. Uh, I, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> because, uh, well actually, you know what? One of the fleets has a... a does it have a carrier in it? I think it does. I don't remember which one. I think it's like the Hornet or something. But I thought we took care of the Hornet. So maybe the AI did figure it out. I have no idea. How did you use that? Wow. Oh, it's because the material dropped because it thinks that this is empty of fuel. But it's not. It's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all my ships dock at Panama. Send them into the Atlantic from there or the Caribbean. And uh, we're just going to probably, to be honest with you guys, I think I might just bypass New Orleans entirely, which may be a stupid decision, um, and just head straight for DC. I don't know. The reason why that might be stupid is that there's no direct supply line to DC from Panama, or vice versa, I guess. Um, so, let's actually look at the map and confirm that. Wait, no, no. Yeah, it is. You have to do it from the map menu. Yep, that's right. So, since we've taken Panama, um, we'd have to go then to New Orleans and then to Washington to assure a uh, supply line. Um, I don't know if I care, though. If I just take Washington, I win. So, I'm going to just do that. I'm going to land troops at Washington and uh, party down. So, uh, only problem with Washington, though... Well, there's lots of problems with Washington. I mean, have you heard of Congress? Yeah, okay. Um, the only problem is that you can see New York is in very close proximity, and these are going to be very big air bases here. So, I don't know if I like that too much, but uh, we're still just going to go ahead and uh, give it our best. Oh, and then there's Montreal. Never, Don't forget Montreal, alright, you guys? Could be 
pretty serious business there too. Um, actually, I shouldn't joke about that. They could have a few planes that could head on down this way, but I'll probably try to stay out of the range of New York's planes at least to start with. So it could be a little bit tricky, but it's going to be mostly just a challenge in terms of getting through the canal and getting everybody ready to go. So let's get to it. Uh, it's going to be super boring. So uh, I'll be off screening it. And to be honest with you, the prob probably the next thing you'll see for me is the, uh, the monthly meeting. Oh joy.